Milk steaming and latte art are not easy to master, especially when you first start. The good news is that choosing the right milk pitcher can really help you. In this video, we'll go over three different milk pitchers and we'll answer three main questions. What are they for? What's the difference among them? And more importantly, which one should you buy? We'll be looking at three different models from MHW3 Bomber. Thank you so much for sending this in so we can make this video today. Let's go. A milk pitcher is a milk pitcher, isn't it? In general terms, yes. In reality, there's so much more to it. You want a pitcher that's made out of high quality stainless steel, as this will keep the temperature consistent as you steam your milk. The Turbo Milk Pitcher from MHW3 Bomber is ideal for steaming and texturizing milk. When you're steaming milk, you will reach a temperature of around 70 degrees Celsius. This milk pitcher has a nice Teflon coating outside, which helps concentrate the heat inside the jug, and this prevents you from burning your hand. At the same time, it has a larger base width, which allows for better aeration and to create that whirlpool effect that will produce the microphone for latte art. Another feature is the form of the spout. As you can see, it's very rounded. It's enough for you to place your steam wand in here and then for you to transfer the milk to another pitcher. Now, my favorite feature is the handle. Usually, when I am steaming with any other pitcher, I will actually have my pinky finger here just for stability, right? Just to hold it tight. And they have thought about this and you know, you just have this space here for your pinky finger. I find this extremely convenient. Ever since I got this pitcher, I have not steamed milk with any other, <laughs> with any other pitcher because I just find that I have this stability that no other pitcher will give me just because of the handle shape. As I mentioned before, this pitcher has been designed specifically for steaming and texturizing milk. If you want to create latte art designs, be it at a beginner or more expert level, you will need a different tool. So let's talk about a beginner pitcher, which is the MHW 3 Bomber 3.0. While professional baristas might be able to pour flawless latte art with anything, even a bent paper cup, for most of us, we need the tool. Beginners usually start the latte art journey by learning simple designs. If you were to simplify how you think about a heart, for example, it's simply a blob that you're cutting in the middle. When you're advancing and you're making tulips, blob, 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 cut in the middle. With this type of spouts, they really let you free pour those type of designs. They're more forgiven and they will give you round shapes. Going back to the handle, as you can see here, I can actually put all of my four fingers. So if you are, for example, making a slow setup, right? You were just letting, letting it hang and it's very convenient for just pouring. This is why this will be ideal if you're just getting started in your journey. Now let's talk about the next level of milk pictures. And before we go there, if you're getting value out of this video, take a quick second to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this one. It will take you less time than steaming a 12 ounces drink in a home espresso machine. Now, I'd love for you to imagine that you are an artist, a painter. If you are painting the ocean, you need a brush with broad strokes. But if you're painting the details on a leaf, you will need a finer tool. It is exactly the same with picture spouts. So if you want to nail a rosetta or a swan latte art design, you will need a narrower tool. In this case, a spout. The Milk Pitcher 5.0 from MHW3 Bomber has been designed with exactly that in mind. They were inspired by the shape of a crocodile mouth. If you look at the spouts, you will notice two things. Actually, two spouts. <laughs> This one is a larger one, which helps control the flow rate of the milk. So you actually know exactly how much milk is going into the cup. But then this tiny little one here is helping you make narrower lines. So that helps with accuracy and very specific designs such as this one. So if you're trying to nail those intricate designs, you already mastered your hearts, you are becoming a pro. This is the way to go. If you're a beginner, should you get this one? Let's talk about the one that you should actually buy. In theory, any of these pictures should be able to get you through everything. But my recommendation is that you get a milk pitcher only for steaming. It has really made a difference on my workflow after I got this one. It's not only that you have another one that you will transfer the milk to, which actually helps with consistency, but the fact that you have the larger width base, it's easier to handle, 
the material even, I never get burned. So I'm just gonna say, if you can, go ahead and buy this one. If you're just getting started, you still don't know your basics, but you know you can nail some latte art. The 3.0 will help you build your foundational skills. Get started with those arts, and in no time you'll be able to pour rosetas, but you have to go through the steps. Now, if you have had some experience, you have gone through this, or maybe not, you just wanna jump into this one, by all means. It might just be a little bit harder for you if you still don't know your basics, because being narrower, you might find yourself not being able to make some of the most basic designs that you see. MHW 3 Bomber has these pictures in many different colors and designs. I put the links in the description below, so go right now, take a look, and pick the one that's right for you. But wait, before you do that, there's something else you might need to know, not about milk pictures, but milk steam in itself. Do you know you can get milk suitable for latte art without even having an espresso machine? Actually, you can make latte art milk using a French press. And if you wanna learn how to do this, I've got the video for you. So get the picture, watch the video, and become a latte artist in no time. And again, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.